Hello, my name is Darren Thomas. I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to be learning how to make short answer quiz questions inside Moodle. So as you can see, I'm already logged into Moodle and up off to the right hand side, there's a box called Administration. And in this box, there's a place called Question Bank. Click on this. And it takes you to the Question Bank. These are all the questions that have been made for this particular class. Of course, this is a, a made up class. And these are all the sample questions I've made in other videos. In this video, we're going to make a short answer. Now, before I actually show you how to make a short answer question, I would actually advise against using short answer. You'll understand better why in a few minutes, but with a short answer, there's, there's an infinite number of potential answers. And if you don't take into account every single possible response, students who respond reasonably will be marked wrong by Moodle because Moodle is a computer and they cannot think subjectively like a human being can. If you've ever marked questions or tests, you know that sometimes you could tell, okay, this is kind of what I wanted, I'll give the student credit. But Moodle does not do that. Moodle only looks for whatever you tell it to, and if you forget to tell it something, it will not look for it. So, in this screen, you just click on short answer here, and then you click add, and now we're going to make a question. So we're gonna say, uh, we have the question name here, and then the actual question text, and then you know how much is worth feedback and case sensitivity so doesn't matter if they capitalize or not if that's important to you you would just change the options here whoops just change the options here if it's really that important to you if not ignore it and then we have all, all of our potential answers um, this will make more sense when I actually go through a, an example with you so we're gonna do a question about money okay so economy will be the name of the question and so which country has the largest economy okay now again when you're making short answer questions in Moodle it needs to be something that only requires like a response of one word if it gets longer than that because we all write differently Moodle is not going to be able to score it correctly because remember the short answer is marked by Moodle itself um, and so you have to be very, very careful with that. The only other choice you have is to mark the answers manually yourself. However, this is not the default for the short answer. If you want to mark answers manually yourself that, in, that, that a student responds to, I recommend that you use the essay question instead of the short answer question because essays have to be marked by a human. So short answer really shouldn't be used in my opinion. If you really want to do short answers whether like one sentence responses or paragraph responses, better to use essay because by default you will be required to mark them. If you do if you use the short answer feature in Moodle, it probably needs to be a one word response, which again, you can deal with that through close or you could deal with that through multiple choice or matching. You don't have to use the short answer feature generally in my opinion. So here's our question. Which country has the largest economy? And so you're probably thinking, oh, well, Darren, that's a very easy question, United States. Yes, that is correct. However, everybody doesn't call it the United States. So for my first one, I will put United States and I'll make a grant out of 100. But some people will like to say, you know, the US. Now notice here I do US, I don't put the dots here. This is another acceptable answer, so we will also put it at 100. But some people who are more careful will put U dot S dot because that's actually how you're supposed to do it. And of course, this answer is also correct. You can see the, the difficulty and the trouble with short answer. You have to cover all potential answers. The largest economy is, yes, the United States. Yes, it is the U.S. And yes, it is U dot S dot. But wait, you know, maybe there's more. Can we think of other, other names for the United States? Um, some people might say just put the states you know sort of a slang term for America again I mean it's kind of correct I mean if you really want to be you know difficult you could say it's wrong um, and the list can go on and on and on um, this is the, the trouble um, we can also say um, maybe America or North America but you know America is not or you know United States is not the only country in America North America so maybe that wouldn't be appropriate but you can see how the list goes on and on and on. So, so far, we've already thought of four potential answers, and these are all correct, which is what makes short answers so difficult. When you put in all the possibilities you can think of, you click, of course, Save Changes. And when we want to look at our example, we go down here at the bottom, 
we click right here on the preview button which country has the largest economy and I could put any of the different responses that I put and I'll get full marks if I put anything beyond those uh, choices that I put as correct answers Moodle will mark it wrong so this is what makes it very challenging so in this video I showed you how to make a short answer question for Moodle um, as I already previously as I previously mentioned I don't recommend the use of these there are other more efficient practical ways to assess students in Moodle beside the short answer because you have to be so broad in the potential choices and there's no room for flexibility because Moodle is a, com it's a computer program basically on a server and it's only going to check what you put by the code you put on the computer which can be very frustrating for short answers where there should be a lot of flexibility and subjectivity to them so we hope that this video was useful for you and we thank you for watching take care